Hello again, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2020, looking at some of the new features. Now, one of the coolest new features added in version 2020 is a feature that needs a little bit of tweaking, but even in its present form, it does a pretty darn good job, and it does a lot of it automatically. This is a feature for colorizing black and white photos. So we've got a black and white photo of a little boy playing army and if I go up here to the enhance menu I can select the option to colorize photo now this doesn't just work automatically but it opens up an entire workspace for colorizing your photo and here at its default setting you see it does skin tones very well I've tried this with a variety of skin tones darker skin tones lighter skin tones and in virtually every case it does a great job of approximating skin tones once it has set your skin tones, you have a couple of options here for color schemes. You can try, is this one a little more natural? I kind of like this. It's a little richer, a little more natural. Some of these may be a little too bluish for me. I'm going to choose the second option. Once you've applied the automatic colorizing to the photo, you can switch it over here to manual on the panel on the right and do some tweaking. So I am going to select the selection tool here, and I'm just going to drag it over this boy's uniform. Now it may choose or select a couple of things that are not on the uniform, but the uniform here is distinct enough from the background that it does a pretty good job. There we go. Now we do have a couple of places where it over selected. Down here we've got part of my arm in the, I'm sorry, that's me when I was a little boy. Part of my arm, I'm just gonna hold down the Alt key or the Option key and drag over it and deselect that area. I can select shift and add to the selection until I get exactly what I want. Go back over to the panel on the right and select droplet tool and click on the area you want to colorize, our selected area here. And then the tool on the right gives us a color picker from which we can select a color for that area. And if I select this one right here, pretty good job. And we could select the wall, we could select the door over here, I'm just going to deselect by Control D or Command D. And we can make another selection, say the door here on the right, and I can paint over that. Again, select a little too much here. There we go. And then I can apply a color to it also by selecting the droplet tool and then selecting a color from the picker here on the right. And I could do the wall also and build out the photo. Now let's take a look at before. Here's our before picture. Here's our after, a pretty good job, especially with the skin tones. Now, it works with some types of photos better than others, as you might expect. Just wanna show you one other photo here. It's a black and white photo of a person standing in a yard, and I'm just going to go up to Enhance again and select Colorize Photo. And once again, it's gonna analyze the picture. It does skin tones very well. This photo has a little bit of a blur to it. It did a great job of distinguishing the skin tones from the background. It figured out that this was grass and colored it green. We could try a couple of color schemes here. I like the second one. And it even kind of saw that this was brickwork on the house back here. We may wanna enhance that a little by switching over to manual and manually selecting and colorizing the background. But in all, kind of cool that virtually automatically, or at least semi-automatically, it takes a black and white photo and brings it into the modern era. A lot of really cool tools in these programs. I cover every single one of them in the moviepix.com guide for Photoshop elements, as well as the moviepix.com guide for Premiere elements. We take you step-by-step step through using virtually all the program's tools. And if you want individual tutorials, if you have a question, if there's anything more you want to know about Photoshop Elements or Premiere Elements, I hope you'll drop by our website, moviepix.com. We'd love to help you out. We'd love to have you join our community. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I'm the author of these books, and I hope to see you again real soon.